Hartelijk welkom bij Finance Uitzending. Ons begin hier te kijken naar gebeuren bij de Nationale Loterij Commissie, wat nou al etelijke jaren lang onder bewerings van grootschaalse corruptie deerloop. Deelse Marie Leroux, haar breng ons op hoogte. Die speciale onderzoekeenheid in die valke het op kantoren van die Nationale Loterij Commissie toegeslaan. Dit vorm deel van een grootskaalse onderzoek na bewerings dat senior ambtenaren van die Loterij Commissie so wel as hulle families onrechtmatig voordeel getrek het uit die commissie se werksaamhede. Onthou die lotto, soos dit algemeen bekend staan, is gestig om geld aan onder meer welzijnsorganisaties toe te staan. Die DA het al voorheen gevra dat die commissie se raad ontbind moet word en sê indien daar vroeger opgetree was, kon miljoene rand gespaar gewees het. The thing that really surprised me was the fact that only 12 out of the 50 investigations had been completed and the bill had already run up to about 300 million rand. So one can just imagine that once they've completed with all 50 investigations, what that number is going to look like. And I put my, my money on it that I think it'll be one of the biggest corruption exposés in the history of South Africa after this. Die onderzoekende journalist Raymond Joseph het van die onthullings oor corruptie by die Nationale Loterij oopgevlak. Hy sê verskye projekte wat miljoene in bevondsing ontvang het, is nooit eens voltooi nie, soos a oude thuis in Limpopo wat hy self besoek het. The roof trusses are rotting. Um, the bricks haven't... So there's these bricks they call Mamparo bricks, which are not properly baked, and they use them inside for inside walls that then get plastered. So they're not open to the elements. So they've used those bricks outside. Those bricks are rotting. Um, the place is falling apart. The only way that it can be fixed is to knock it down and start again. It is one of six old age homes, which received an average of 30 million rand each around the country that have been abandoned. They've never been finished because the money was looted. Joseph het al onthul hoe die commissie glo geld direct in een van sy raadslede sy huisverband rekening betaal het. Die geld was vir ander organisaties bedoel. Hy sê dit is nou die nationale vervolgingsgesagse plig om seker te maak corrupte ambtenare word vervolg. Really the hawks have been missing in action on this and the NPA have been sitting on their hands and ultimately what this is going to take, yes, Hundreds of millions of rands will be recovered. Um, but it's really to see whether the NPA has got the will to prosecute. Because the NLC has enjoyed very heavy political connection, uh, protection. And that's why they've got away with it for so many years. The tide has turned, but there are very senior people in government who have NPOs who have personally benefited. And it's going to be interesting to see how deeply the SIU digs into that. A kenner in ethiek sê, verbruikers kan hulle misnoot te kenne gee dier die lotte te boykot, totdat stap het in corrupte ambtenare gedoen word. This is a really clear example where we can vote with our wallets, we can think about how collectively um, we can use something as simple as whether or not we buy a lotto or Powerball ticket um, to make a statement, to add some pressure um, to try get the government to, to act a little bit more quickly, to push a little bit more for accountability in these places where it, it really matters. Die minister van Handel en Nijverheid, Ebrahim Patel, het verlede week aangekondig die huidige raadslede sal van hulle plichte ontheef word.